welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I feel really tired. I feel so tired this morning. Today's video is what I eat in the day. What I eat in a day. What I eat in the day. Starting with a humongous black coffee, which you you saw me pour and spill quite spectacularly. But yeah, I just thought I'd do like a updated what I eat in a day because this is the highest amount of calories that I've been on in a while due to like my different training. I'm obviously running and weight training and doing different things not just kind of going to the gym now because I'm really enjoying it. Go back to my video. A video where I did the half marathon, I explained it in there as well, but I am going to explain it throughout the day in terms of what I'm doing and what I'm eating. I'm just going to read my book. It's called Useful Delusions. It's actually really, really good. It's all about self, the self-deceiving brain and self-deception. So book recommendation, you can read this. Also got vitamin C. It is now nine o'clock, had coffee, got changed. Me and Ben always do our emails from like, 8 a.m. till 8.45, probably more like 7.45 to 8.45 actually, and just get quite a lot of admin done before we even go to the gym. We started doing that, I don't know, maybe like a couple months ago. It's just super helpful to get emails boxed off and things like that before we go to the gym. Now I'm going to go to the gym, going to hit up a body, got some content to shoot with Cal for the My Coach School, so we're going to be doing that. Then going to come home, make my oats, show you my oats, the famous oat ball recipe, which is my favourite thing ever. And then I'm going for a run at some point, so I'll take you on my run with me as well in terms of what I'm doing, what food I'm having, what I'm eating, everything like that. February because I had a shoulder impingement for so long it's the first time I'm, I'm training chest and it actually feels okay I've obviously lost a lot of strength in like six months but it's all right I feel pretty good Carl basically got here a bit later because he had to drop his car at the garage so he's still training a bit with Ben so I'm just on the treadmill doing incline walk 14% because we have some images to shoot for the school you know literally just keep myself moving I'll just do this for like the next 10 minutes shoot the images go home eat We love cream. Look how look at look at the size. So this is the vegan protein that I use. It is salty cam ooh chocolate salt with caramel. Um, it definitely is in stock, so you can go and get that. That's why I use my oats. 
I also have this, which is the sugar-free syrup. This is the butterscotch. And it's actually also the vegan one. Confused, but it is the vegan one. Then also the peanut butter powder. It gives you like up to 37% off, which is pretty crazy. So there's a link below and there's a code, which I just told you about. So definitely go and check that out. Hello, everybody. It's actually, it's not even raining now, is it? No, you can take this ridiculous take, take hood Take the down. ridiculous hood down. Honestly, if you saw my outfit, it's one of those things where it's just like... It's very clean and nice as well, isn't it? So dirty. I've like obviously just spilled my oats in it or something. But we've just been to Lidl. Still do that. Lidl. Can you say anything correctly? No, every single word that I ever I ever pronounce. It's cinnamon, blubs, creme, yeah. Lidl, potatoes, boutonoot, cough. Do you know what? I just makes life more interesting. But yeah, what's Lidl? Done the food shop, got a few steps in. It stopped raining, which is wonderful news for Manchester. My oats are still digesting and I'm gonna go on a 10k run. And I'm gonna take you with me. You're gonna you're gonna be with me if it's not raining, and we'll do it that way. What? <laughs> Carl's having a shite there. Oh god. He, he's obviously um, oh, incapable of opening his chick. Weird little chicken fingers. Every day he offers me one. I'm like absolutely not. It's like a it's like a toe. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna walk back. Gonna do some more work. Not gonna eat before my run. The oats have absolutely done me over. And if I eat well too close before I run, I get really bad stitch. People always ask me as well, like, do I have water whilst I'm running? Not for like a 10 or 15k. I don't feel like that's needed for me. You just stick your tongue out today. Pissing down. And I get oh, some fresh rain. But I probably will do like water for my next half marathon because I was very parched. Okay, it is half past two. I just had some of the little muscle food pancakes, like one and a half. I just felt really all of a sudden very hungry, which is not a big thing to have before I run anyway, so I know I don't really get stitch. But yeah, you can actually shop my muscle food link below. I forgot to tell you that. But yeah, I'm about to go on a 10K. I'm feeling all right. I'm going to try and keep my heart rate below 150 or around the 150, 153. This isn't going to be a fast run. It's more to just get my legs moving. I did a 10K PB the other week. I did 44 minutes. Felt really, really good. That's not that kind of vibe stay for the run this is just for me to get out and probably just get some distance in really and then you're going to see what i end up eating i don't know how much of the run that i'll be able to show you i just kind of have to play it by ear in terms of how quick i can get my phone out so this is from free train and i put my phone in here so it kind of like wait it flaps down so you can see your phone and you can tap it. It's actually awesome. I'm hopefully doing some sort of campaign with them soon. Like I, I couldn't not run with it now. I don't know what I'd do if my phone was on my arm, but I'm gonna enjoy my run. 10K, let's go. So 5K in, I actually feel a little bit rough, which I don't really usually get on runs. I think my anxiety has been quite bad recently and I can, that's why I feel it. I feel like my chest is tighter than usual. Heart rate's at 153, so it's all right. We're done. 49 minutes, 30 something that that was honestly one of the hardest 10ks i've done and i know exactly why i know because i've not been sleeping well for about two weeks now and i've got some things going on family wise and like personal things going on and it's actually made my anxiety quite bad i don't share that stuff on social media because i don't want to share everything sometimes but i've got a lot going on behind the scenes and it, it is it does affect my running because it affects my breathing i could feel it in my chest my pace was 457 it was so funny because it went off at 9k at 44 minutes 43 and i did my 10k pb literally on sunday in 44 minutes 39 so it just shows how you can feel very different on different days but i'm actually still really pleased that i got out and i did it i need to go fuel myself now i need to have my sandwich my salad i might get a barbarito tonight because i just feel literally so hungry but yeah you know what i'm still really proud that i did that i'm back from my run i'm changed showered and not as sweaty so i'm gonna have my chicken salad sandwich i just have them every day i love a sandwich they're super tasty 324 cows then i usually have a salad with chicken and then also a magnum and then my stir fry and then my yogurt however because i feel like i've expended a lot of energy and that run was harder than i expected like i said before i might get a barberito bowl barberito is awesome and um, look at ooh, just look at my sandwich though they literally you get so sad when little don't have them stunning mm -hmm. okay it is half five and i've actually not eaten since my sandwich don't recommend i had to go and drop cal off to get his car and it was like ended up being like a 45 to an hour round trip because the road that i had to come back to get home there was like you couldn't turn right and there's a diversion the diversion was just like passed through town so 
that is why I've not eaten since. Would not recommend doing that because I started to feel a little bit like, ooh, a little bit shaky. So I'm gonna have a salad now, a huge chicken salad. And then I think I am gonna order a barbarito. Might order a barbarito for Ben as well. Does, he, does Ben want a barbarito? Oh, okay, thank you. I'll just shit my guts off. You shit your guts off? Why are you not well? Some loss of poo. Ah. Oh. What you meant you got like diarrhea or something? Do you reckon there's enough fig for tonight's yogurt? <sighs> Make a salad. Homegrown tomatoes from Nan and Gramps. Delish. Deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Extra tomatoes because I'm feeling. Feeling tomato. Chicken. Which I can't get into. The only reason I have cooked chicken as well, by the way, is because I'm waiting on my muscle food order, which hasn't arrived. So I just got some pre-cooked chicken from Lidl. Blueberries. Key ingredient to my salad, feta. Quite a considerable amount of feta as well because we love it. And then just like some balsamico. Garlic on as well. Here is the salad of all salads. Chicken, tomato, blueberries, feta, lettuce, carrot. Delicious. Okay. I'm going to have a slice of this cake. This cake is delicious. Uh, I can't. It's from a bakery that my nan and gramps go to and they gave it me on Sunday. And I just, I've got to, I'm going to dive it in. I think obviously Ben has already dove in. Look at that. Moist. Look at that. A delicious soft caramel sponge with a hint of sea salt. It absolutely is delicious. Mm. I like quite a nice slice. <laughs> So I'm just ordering my Barbarito bowl. I feel like it might take longer to arrive than I expected. It's like seven o'clock now. I'm really hungry. So yeah, I don't usually get Barbarito bowls. I usually have like stir fry with rice as well, but I just really felt like a Barbarito bowl today. So I've gone for grilled chicken, rice, mild pinto beans, pico de gallo, mild slaw, spinach, pickled onion, sour cream, extra guacamole, extra mushrooms, extra onions and peppers and cheese. So that's gonna be super delicious. I'm gonna enjoy it a lot and I'm, <laughs> I can't lift my arm anymore. The camera's so heavy. Barbarito's ordered. I'm just gonna have my soup. So, oh, that, that supplements that vitamins. Iron, folic acid, 5-HTP, zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, and retinol and biotin. Retinol and biotin for your hair, skin and nails. All the others are just like general, your immune system, how you're feeling, fatigue. 5-HTP and iron, I also have for the fatigue side of things and, and like brain fog and brain functioning. I might not even have that like vitamin C actually. But everything else, mm, blended. The worst of taking vitamins. We had a shite mess. <laughs> the delivery when I ordered it said it would be 30 to 40 minutes. It took an hour and 45 minutes. And it's stone cold, like the bag, like the bag situation. It, you know what, let's not complain. And no guacamole. I won't lie to you guys, it looks really terrible because it's obviously had a really shocking journey. And I've also forgot my guacamole and my sour cream is just somewhere involved but i'm gonna make it better i'm gonna put it in the microwave i'm gonna add cheese it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right we've had a slight salvage oh it's very very foggy and then we've got obviously mayo delish because i have my dinner at 8 40 i'm still feeling a little bit full so it's 9 46 so having yog a little bit later than usual this is is this my yog mm -hmm. this is yog this is yog bowl this is ben's yog bowl it's the best thing in the whole entire world it's fake for hay <laughs> Yogurt, apple, raspberries, peanut butter, uh, almond butter from my protein, syrup, cinnamon, blueberries. It's just delicious. Feeling pretty tired. You're gonna finish watching Love Island. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.